In Layla Park, was the the gangs thing a big thing? I do think I read somewhere or seen somewhere that you had a bit of a a, a run in graffiti before the music thing. Um, yeah. So even with, with the graffiti, like the gang stuff, there was there was one crew there. Um, there was obviously a big big family Islander family, and they had their gang. You know, we we just had our family, so it was kind of like just family and family. Um, we had a few run-ins with them and, and stuff like that, but it wasn't to the extent where let's go meet up at a park and fucking have an all-in brawl or something like that. It was more of a, if we seen you, then it was a one-on-one, and it was fair goes, you know what I mean? But now these days, man, it's, if, if if it's not filmed and put on fucking social media, it's not true. It didn't happen, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. In regards to the graffiti stuff, how deep into that did you get? I got pretty deep in it, man. Um, so obviously I, shit, when I started when, so my, my older brother, he, um, he was into it first with a couple of his mates from Layla Park. And then that, like, I always loved art, um, like water, water, water painting, oil painting and stuff like that. But then, um, he started getting into that with his mates and then I started getting into it with my mate and then. My mate kind of just stepped back from it, and then I met some new mates and kept going with it, and obviously doing track sides, panels, tunnels, all that sort of stuff. But then I um I met um a bloke named Fuser or Fuse, and a bloke named JC, um, which actually turns out JC actually went to school with my mother uh, way back. So these boys were older than me, and then they they showed me that. You don't have to go do panels. You can get a legal wall. You can get paid to paint. You know what I mean? So then I started kicking it with them more. And they were inviting me. Like, I was meeting some fucking, some big names like Pecky, fucking um, Unique, like all the old older heads, you know. And I started doing legals with them and started getting paid. And I started getting my own walls. And so in, in Layla Park, there was, at, from a young age, we were always advocating to get a skate park. They never gave us one. So their next thing was painting. So then I built relationships with, with shop owners and stuff like that. And I've said, there was one guy, he owned a fruit shop. I said, I'm happy to paint the front of your thing free of charge if you let me paint the back of it regularly, you know. He was like, yep, no worries. And, and it, was, it was much easier for me because my grandparents were well known in that area, still are to this day. So they had the good rapport with everyone, you know, like, Unfortunately, my my brothers were more of the the hooligans, so they had the they had the name of all oh, there's there's so and so stay away from them. You know what I mean? Where I tried to keep my my stuff dark, my stuff stayed low, and so I like I was said I you respect me, I'm gonna respect you. You know, so then that's how all that legal wars come about. I I landed a couple of legal wars in Layla Park, and I've still got them now. I've still got two of them now. Um, but then we, we did start having threats from the council because for some reason, a couple of blokes thought it was a community war. And one of these wars were a community war. Um, now me, when I left Layla Park, I left the war in particular to JC, the bloke that got me into legals. And obviously he knew he could paint it whenever he wants. If someone wanted to paint it, take it up with him. But then other randoms started turning up and painting it on their own. So then I went back and um, I, I tried to reach out to these people, but none of them wanted to borrow it. So I went to that shop owner and I said, hey, we don't want the wall no more. You see anyone painting it, you stop them. He said, yep, sweet, done, no worries. I rolled it, left it, but still got other walls. So every now and then, I, like I'm a youth worker now, so every now and then I'll, I'll take some kids down there, we'll paint the wall and you know what I mean. So I'm still engaged in it, not as heavily as I was, but more of just a... um. More of a tool for outlet for young kids now. So, but before all this legal wall stuff, uh, you mentioned you were hitting panels, like you were hitting trains. Yeah, it was more. We weren't hitting yards when I was doing it. We were pulling red lights. You'd have to go with a couple of boys. You've only got a certain amount of time. You know what I mean. So that was more of it. Me, I, I did like the adrenaline, but 
I was more of a, I want to take my time. You know, I want to want to be able to do a little bit, walk 20 metres away, have a look, come back, go again, you know what I mean? So, but when it comes to the panels, yeah, it was just red light stuff. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.